My name is Jarvis Prince. I am 20 years old and I'm from Anchorage, Alaska. And I have a dance program for kids that leads up to events. And I met now two weeks ago and I was on the streets doing what's not so good. I wasn't living on the streets, but I was on the streets not doing good. And I met Mal and he gave me a job teaching dancing, was what I do. And after that, everything changed, you know, I'm getting paid legally and I am further gaining leadership skills and also communicating with kids. The last part is important because mostly we're trying to help with the community and help help them with whatever needs they have and providing programs for kids to stay out of stay out of juvenile facilities or stay out of, and for people to stay out of trouble basically. And um, and for kids and teens to show their talents and what, what the other ways that the community shows, like what, what ways that they don't have, what programs that they don't have, we try to provide those programs. And, you know, that's what we do. Well, at first, the choices I made wasn't, weren't always right, but after, after working with Mal these past couple of weeks, uh, working with kids basically, you know, I've changed mentally and physically than the way I think and it made me want to go back to school. Yeah, it made me want to go back to school a lot and finish up my education because, you know, there's nothing really out there. If you're not doing anything, nothing, there is nothing to do, you know. Hopefully, you know, you give me a better education that I could, if this is not the job that I want for life or, or if this is not the career I want, then I could always change my job, you know, and, uh, and I have uh, one child, so I would all be able to provide for my child. And it's always good to have an education and have a backup plan if you don't have one. You know, because uh, everybody goes through trials and tribulations, and things don't always go your way. But if you have a backup plan, then yeah, at least you have Plan B. You know, mm -hmm. you have a, another opportunity to provide for your family if you have one. Well, I'm um, Yupik, and um, my village is called Kotlik, and right now they don't really have programs for kids. There's lots of kids running around and doing anything they want, and they don't have programs for them to, for something for them to do, so they end up vandalizing places and the program that I'm, that I uh, ordered, Miles, Miles whole programs and all, all we're trying to do is uh, have the kids, you know, have something to do or something to, or show their talents, you know, if they, because uh, if they have one specific talent they want to do, we show them, we bring up, we bring to the table that this is what we're doing and you can be a part of it, you just got to step forward. With my heritage, uh, we do uh, Eskimo dancing and, um, and it would all be good. And, and the, the dancing that we have, it stays, it's not really known as much as it should, it should be. But if you, if I put a mix into it with my dancing, it'll make it bigger and make, make a bigger audience and make more of the villages to come together to see what's really happening and see how, how uh, their dance and how everybody's performing, you know. Um, with my elders, I would, I would talk to them, but it's more of a show, show and uh, let, them, let them see. And then they'll have our support, but because before then they, because they, they think that because they're older, they uh, things that things that they already had or whatever programs they had is uh, it's not working, but they think it is. And uh, once once a younger person, a teenager, comes up forward and shows shows all the talents that other kids have and what trials and tribulations that we're going through as a team, my program basically. I just want to be able to teach kids the dancing, you know, so let them show their expression, you know. If anything, take any girl on the dancing, you know. And, uh, for me, it will help me learn new leadership skills, um, communicating with children, 
and uh, and then put a good background on my history, you know. I'll, I'll be able to have a good reference. Um, but we're, we're just really trying to help the community and, and just trying to provide our best programs that we can. You know, kids don't really listen that much, but um, once you get to know them and uh, you participate, or they participate with you in your activities, then you, you make a bond with them, uh, a, di a different bond than having them with a parent or with a friend. You know, they look up to you as, uh, as who you are and what you do. And, and for some other kids, it's a, it's a big thing for me. You know, as a kid, I never, I never had nobody. I had a talent, I always wanted to dance when I was a kid, but I didn't have nobody come up and teach me how to dance and show me that there's a way or, or there's a talent there that you could pursue, you know. Uh, I was always told that it's always by the books, but it's not. It's uh, who you want to be and who you are. So it's never, never let somebody tell you who you're going to be or what you want to do in your life. Well, basically with this program, I just want, I just want everybody to, uh, I just want all the communities in, in a way to come together to show, I don't know, just to show, so teens helping other, other people, you know, so teens helping other teens, because you can't uh, really have an adult telling kids what, what they're supposed to do or what, what, they, what they want to do or how they're supposed to do. They, they, they were a kid before, but they're not a kid now, so they don't know what the kids are thinking. We're, we're here and we're showing you all these talents that these teens have and they're teaching you what, what uh, you, can, you can learn too. And um, you, don't, you don't necessarily have to be a dancer or an artist, but it shows you that there are talents out there and we will support that to the, to the fullest.